Hello, Facebook. And happy almost Halloween. I thought it would be fun to get a little bit dressed up as an astronaut in support of Halloween, because I thought it'd be fun, but also in support of a new blog post that I wrote that just came out on Huffington Post this morning about the three key business lessons I learned while working at Kennedy Space Center. So um, I'm gonna wait a few minutes to let people join the video. This is actually my first Facebook Live video on my personal channel. And I was just really trying to do something different just to try to like get your attention, jazz it up, make it a little bit fun. So I'm actually wearing an astronaut suit that I got at Kennedy Space Center when I worked there. Um, this is just a costume. They sell it in the space shop there. And I thought it would be fun to pull this out of the closet. I really have been hanging on to this thing for 20 years. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm a hoarder. I think I'm a hoarder. I need help. But yeah, I've been holding on to this costume for 20 years. Hey Jenny, how are you? And I think this is a perfect opportunity to use it. So um, not only am I gonna be an astronaut for Halloween, but I also wanted to use it to support my blog post. And um, I'm so excited to be a contributor on the Huffington Post. It's just been an amazing goal that I wanted to accomplish. And um, I'm really using it to spread my message and, and build my platform, so to speak. So that's why I'm wearing this. It's in support of my Huffington Post blog post called Three Key Business Lessons I Learned while working at Kennedy Space Center. You can find it on the Huffington Post, but you can also find it on my new fan page that I set up on Facebook at jen.devore.richter. So please head on over there if you wanna read the blog post, but not yet, after the video, after the video feed is done. And um, so basically what happened, hey Shelly, thanks for joining. So basically in the 90s, I was fresh out of college and full of, you know, ambition and passion and just really wanting to make a mark on the world. And I thought to myself, if I'm going to work and I'm going to work hard, I want to work someplace that is awesome and that is really doing something very unique and very different and very cool. And I thought I was going to go work at Disney and I tried so hard to get a job at Disney, but that didn't pan out, but all for good reasons. And what ended up happening was I was watching ETV one day and I saw that Ben Affleck was being interviewed on E! And they were talking about this new movie he had coming out called Armageddon. So this is how long ago this was. And when I saw Ben Affleck being interviewed at Kennedy Space Center, my eyes were opened. Okay, not to what you're thinking, not to how gorgeous Ben Affleck is or was at the time, but I saw this beautiful space center behind him with these big red, white, and blue rockets that were just bigger than anything I had ever seen in my life. And they were telling the story about the United States space program and all the exploration that we had, we had done and what we had accomplished and what we were still looking to accomplish. And I was inspired, man. I said, that's it, that is the place for me. I wanna work there. These people are doing things, they're making things happen and it'll look good on a resume, if you know what I'm saying. So it took me about a year and I applied and just kept applying and finally landed my dream job at Kennedy Space Center working for NASA. I was working for a company called Delaware North Companies and what we did there was tell the American public and our international supporters about the United States space program and why they should support it. The goal was to get them to come visit Kennedy Space Center, maybe while they were on a you know trip to Orlando to go see Disney or something, kind of steal them away from there and kind of get them to come to Kennedy Space Center. So I landed my dream job and I was working with the best people. I'm still friends with a lot of these people on my Facebook page. And uh, so Debbie and Karen, you guys know who you are. And I just loved it. And so I made great relationships. I was doing amazing things and working with awesome people. In addition to that, I was, I was introduced to some of the most amazing people ever that will ever be on our planet, including Buzz Aldrin. You know him as the second man on the moon. Um, I used to work with Buzz all the time. He'd call me on my phone, say, hey, Jen, it's Buzz. And I would just like about lose my stuff because that was so cool. 
Um, I worked with Gene Cernan, the last man to work on the to walk on the moon. Wally Shira, one of the original Mercury astronauts, and so many other amazing people. And they were just so inspiring to me. Um, one man in particular, his name's Robert Zubrin, and he was pioneering the United States exploration to Mars. And last night I'm watching television, I'm watching Nat Geo, this new Mars show they have coming out, and Robert Zubrin was being interviewed on the Nat Geo special. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I know him. I have got a book from him. And I, you know, had lunch with him. And it was like just amazing to see him still being passionate about what his big vision was for his life, what his bold vision was for his life. And so that inspired me. Me seeing him on television 20 years later, still doing what he set out to do with his career, inspired me to write this blog post this morning. I just couldn't keep it in anymore. I was like, I just have to tell people you know, how inspiring it was to work at Kennedy Space Center, work at NASA with these amazing people, and how some of the lessons that I learned there, I still use them in business today. I still use them today. So I wanted to share a couple of them with you. And um, one of them is that your dreams are not big enough. When you're working with people that are walking on the moon or trying to explore Mars, it, ho it opens up your mind. You start to think, why not me? Why can't I do something amazing with my life? And that changed me forever. Like planted a little seed in my heart with these, working with these people that were really doing something awesome. They were basically dedicating their life, serving our country, serving fellow man, serving humanity with the exploration of space. That has always resonated with me. And I think that's why I'm so passionate about building a purpose-filled business now and not just going to work and showing up and just kind of like getting a paycheck. Who cares about that, man? Life is short and we need to be doing stuff with our life that's really going to make a difference, not just for us, but for everyone. So that was one of the lessons I learned there, that your dreams are not big enough. And as kids, I think we, you know, sometimes we, when we're little kids, we think, oh, I'm going to be a ballerina when I grow up, or I might even be an astronaut when I grow up. And then we grow up and we go, I'm going to be like an accountant or a marketing chick or something like that. And we limit ourselves into what our true purpose is on the planet. Our true purpose is to serve humanity. So I invite you to, I encourage you, think about what your true purpose is beyond just your business and beyond just your job. What are you doing to move humanity forward? I've been inspired by these astronauts and these space explorers my whole life. And I wish to pass that on to you. All right, so lesson number two, pay attention to detail. Check the small stuff. Make every detail count. When, you're, when they were launching rockets and launching the space shuttle back in the 90s, there were millions of pieces of information and systems that needed to be working in order to get this space shuttle launched, right? And if one of the little components wasn't working, then the whole thing shut down. We call it a scrub. The mission was scrubbed. And we would be there for days waiting for this space shuttle launch to recount and relaunch so that they could get their mission going. So pay attention to the details. If you're in business, this might mean paying attention to your customer service, paying attention to how you're answering the phone, paying attention to what's going on in the lobby of your medical practice waiting room. Look at the details. It is so important. It is part of the millions of pieces in your business system that is going to help you reach your mission and get to where you're trying to go. So there's that. Number three, don't be a quitter. <laughs> Our marketing department used to have this funny saying when someone was either getting discouraged about a project or trying to go home early, which was like 6.37 for us, we would call ourselves BFQ. And a BFQ, well, because, okay, let me back up. Everything at NASA has an acronym, like everything. So H, headquarters, HQ, you know, NASA is a, its own name is the acronym for National Aeronautics Space Administration. So everything has an, a, an acronym. So BFQ became like a running joke in our marketing department for Big Fat Quitter. So do not be a Big Fat Quitter. Keep going, all right? And when stuff gets challenging, that's when you need to push through the most. And, oh, hey, Damon, thanks. I remind you of Jeannie Blaylock from Channel 12. That's cool. Great to see you, Damon. But anyways, so... Don't be a quitter. Do not be quitting on your business or quitting in your career or quitting in your job. When the stuff is getting hard, that's when you need to push forward more, okay? 
Um, if the NASA astronauts can do it and all the people that are behind the U.S. space program can do it to launch missions to space, to the International Space Station and now to Mars, you can do it too. Just keep, keep working, keep going. So, man, um, I also want to just talk more about the mindset that it takes to not give up. Putting in the time will reap you the rewards. I've been a business owner for about 12 years now. I can't believe it. And I'm just now getting to the fruits of all of this labor that I put in. There's no such thing as an overnight success. You just have to keep getting up every day and putting in the work. Put on your suit, whatever you need to do to make yourself feel powerful. I think that's why they wear these suits, man, because I feel like I'm on fire right now. I'm on power right now wearing this suit. So do whatever you got to do to keep yourself motivated, keep inspired, keep pushing. So I just want to wrap up by saying that working at Kennedy Space Center was such an honor, especially during the height of America's space program over 20 years ago. And I know that they're just getting started. Just because we're not launching space shuttles anymore doesn't mean that there aren't new missions to be done. We're next, our next stop is Mars. So what's your next step? You may have come to the end of an era in your business, but you've got another journey ahead of you. And I just want to encourage you to keep thinking about what that new bold vision is for your business and what mission you're on next. So that's it. So have a happy Halloween from your favorite astronaut. I salute you, all you business owners out there. Keep up the good work and um, God bless the United States of America. Love you guys.